From the time I came to James Madison University, I felt it was very important for us to have an inclusive, transparent, and open process of communication that engaged all of our constituents as we think about the future of the university. It started last year with the listening tour, listening to our students, faculty, staff, alumni, and parents, and other supporters of the university about their hopes and dreams for the future of our community. Uh, and it also included the appointment of the Madison Future Commission with over 150 people representing all of our different constituencies who collectively came together to think about all aspects of life at the university now and for the next several years. Today was an important day for our institution at the Board of Visitors meeting in particular, where we had three interrelated reports. We looked, first of all, at the position of the university and the reputation, where it is today and where it can go from here. We also had a conversation from the Madison Future Commission about the strategic plan and the planning process, which is at a critical moment now. And we also talked about the six-year plan, which has to be submitted to the state, which talks about things like facilities and finances to support our priorities and goals for the next several years. All of these pieces are interrelated because we need to make sure that as we think about our goals and priorities for the future, that we are comprehensive, that we cover all of the different areas of life at the university, and that we have the resources to back them up. The, the Why Madison Listening Tour was a great way for me to get to know the university and all of its constituents, and specifically to hear about our collective thoughts about where we've been, where we are today, and where we can go from here. One of the things that I found most valuable was it was a chance for all of us to be involved in that dialogue, to share our hopes, our dreams, our aspirations, and to hear about all aspects of life at the university from faculty and staff and students and alumni, parents and other constituents. Everything from academics to student activities to enrollment to athletics, all of the different aspects of life at the university were covered in these conversations. And we got lots of valuable feedback which in turn has been shared with the Madison Future Commission and all of its committees as they develop the strategic plan. This is an important moment for us in our planning process for the future of the university. We now have the framework from the Madison Future Commission along with committee and consultant reports for all of our constituents to review right up here on the university's website. We want people to take a look carefully and say, is this an inspiring and inclusive plan for the future? Does it cover the big picture of who we are and who we want to be over these next several years? That's the dialogue that we now want to have with all of our constituents, and we hope people will take the time to review these documents carefully and reflect on those big picture questions. As we go through this process of strategic planning, the process itself matters and is important to all of us. I think this is a moment for us as a university when we can reflect the idea of James Madison, the father of the Constitution, and his commitment to civil discourse, to bring together different views and perspectives and experiences, and to come together and say, does this collectively reflect who we are and who we want to be as an institution?